Hi Virgo, welcome to your general reading for the second half of September. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new, welcome. If you're returning, thank you so much for coming back. Please check the description box below for any and all information you need about me, personal reading, social media, decks I'm using, tons of stuff there. Please do go check that out. Thank you to all my new subscribers. Thank you, thank you. Those who reached out for personal readings, thank you so much. And those who have blessed me with an energy exchange, as in a tip or donation to the channel, is greatly appreciated. Your support really means a lot to me. And I couldn't do this without you guys. So thank you so much for blessing the channel and giving it support to help it grow and flourish and being a part of that. So thank you, thank you so much. Okay, let's get on now to Virgo general reading, second half of September. Let's see what we get. Hope everybody's doing well. Happy belated birthday. Or if you see this and um, it's still your birthday time, then happy birthday or happy belated birthday. <laughs> Hope everybody's doing well. Coming into fall now already. All right. So it's a Zodiac Oracle. We'll see what we get. And if you don't resonate with this part, totally fine. All right. So we have cancer. So you could have cancer around you some way, shape, or form. This is a general reading. So I will read it as a general reading, but you can fit it into your situation any way you see fit. So you could have a cancer around you some way, um, sibling, family member, friend, coworker. Uh, maybe you have cancer in your chart somehow. If not, that's totally fine. If you clicked on the reading, then there's something else probably in here for you. So earth and water. So let's see what's going on for Virgo. Second half of September. General reading. What's going on with Virgo? What's going on? Oh, and I forgot to light my incense. So let's see if I can get that going. This incense is kind of neat. It's hollow in the middle. So it will flow out of the bottom and through the little holes on this holder here and it has a very smoky effect so we'll see if that gets going there okay alrighty sorry about that Virgo let's see what we have for Virgo what's your message what's going on with the Virgo the second half of September spirit please we have a card for Virgo. What's going on with Virgo? Second half. Forgiveness. Mm. So 9 and 6 is 15, which then 156, which is about balance and healing. So something may be uh, balanced and healed now, and now there can be forgiveness in a situation. You know, a cancer is water, a water sign. And water is very healing, um, about emotions and feelings and healing, going with the flow, if it's not a cancer. So let's see. It's on the bottom of the deck. So we have domestic harmony. So 46, 10. Tens are about endings, and then one is a new beginning. So there may be some sort of domestic harmony now <coughs> in your situation, whether it's with your family uh, you know, you're, if you're married, that sort of family, or your siblings. Whatever happened here, I feel like there's been uh, a big change. I did see change. Um, I didn't take it, but change is on here. So I feel like there's been a really big change, and um, things are better now. So this domestic harmony, and uh, can you see those? change some sort of change brought forgiveness peace harmony balance and now there's domestic harmony in it like a brand new beginning all right so let's see let's see what's going on do one more these are hard to shuffle okay so what's going on do it this way before i go What's going on with Virgo? Second half of September. 
Okay, so we have the Four of Water. And that's a Cancer Scorpio Pisces. So this is feeling, you know, a little stagnant, bored, uh, contempt, not really sure about extending out some kind of offer, whether it's an apology or not accepting any offers coming in or wondering if an apology will come in. So it's kind of like a uh, emotional stagnant energy of not really accepting anything, not putting anything out, you know, that kind of sort of energy. Should I, shouldn't I, will they, won't they? Nine of ear, so stress and anxiety. So now we have uh, ear energy here, Cancer, um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. So stress, anxiety, worry, nervousness uh, kind of energy. Worrying about will they, won't they? Okay. And the page of fire. So will they or won't they extend out a message? Page of fire is about message. Uh, Leo Sagittarius. So uh, very determined kind of energy. Uh, Go-getter, passionate kind of energy. Fiery energy. So will they or won't they? Being stressed and nervous over that. And will it be in a fiery exchange if they do? Um... Or will they change their ways? Will, will their attitude kind of change? I'm getting... All right, so let's get some clarity on this for you, Virgo. I'm feeling that one. I'm feeling this one first. So we have, wow, the Queen of Fire. Okay, so, you know, this could be a sibling uh, or something like that. Maybe who's someone who's very, like, bold and fiery, has a fiery personality, and just kind of says whatever they want, and they really don't care. So you're worried about, you know, uh, communication with this person. Is it going to be, you know, the same fiery kind of energy? Oh, maybe they have a temper or something like that. They just They just kind of say like it is. They don't really care. And then you have the messenger of water. So there's the Cancer Scorpio Pisces. So that is, you know, a message coming in, um, an apology or um, an emotional message, that kind of energy. Actually, no, that's the night. Okay, that's the page. This is the night of water. So actually, instead of coming in, you know, they may be coming in with a message of being very determined of wanting to maybe work things out, have, you know, extend an apology, um, having forgiveness. And instead of coming in with this fiery, like, energy, they may be coming in more of an, an emotional, kind of compassionate, sympathetic, uh, not sympathetic, but compassionate, more kind of energy. The night of water is all about love, emotions, and feelings, and coming forward with that, like, loving gesture. So they may come forward in a more loving way, compassionate way, instead of this fiery way that you're used to. And that could be the change here that brings domestic harmony and healing and balance and forgiveness. But you're stressed out and worried about how they're going to come forward here, or how they're going to deliver the message. But they come through, actually, as a more loving, compassionate energy. Apologetic energy could be a fire sign. So let's see what the actual situation is here. So what, what's going on here? What caused all this um, going on? Again, it could be siblings or um, it could be just your your own family, whatever, however this is for you. It could even be in your work environment. So we have the Six of Swords. So that's a nice energy as the actual situation. Well, so, wow, okay, so I'll take that one, and I'll take this one. So, air energy with the six of air, six of swords, so that's moving forward, leaving everything behind that's no longer serving, and moving forward in a better, more balanced, peaceful place, more harmonious place. You know, in the Four of Earth here, uh, Four of Pentacles, that's your energy. So maybe you were holding back here. You know, you were just holding on to um, yourself, holding on to your stability, doing your own thing, 
holding back from whatever went on here. Not really uh, extending anything out. Then you have the Nine of Water. So it's like wishes and dreams, hopes coming true, happiness and joy. So, you know, things going in a better direction. I felt you just kept to yourself here, held on to your stability. But now all your wishes, dreams, hopes are uh, coming true in this situation. Because things are going in a better place because now they came across in a, in a changed energy, different energy than before, which really changed this whole dynamic. Wow. Okay. So I hope... Let's put this down. All right. So I hope this is making sense. All right. So let's get more clarity on the actual situation. Queen of Earth. So that's your energy. Wow. So two queens here. So definitely could be two siblings. Or it could even be two best friends. And strength. And wow, now we have Leo energy showing up. So <laughs> your actual situation here is your energy here with the Queen of Earth, uh, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, and now we have Leo with strength, is you you try to remain strong and stable and grounded as you did here uh, with the Four Earth, just keeping to yourself, you know, going on in life and uh, building yourself, your life, and being strong, telling you here also to be strong, courageous, and brave in the situation that you had the courage and the bravery to um, finally face this person, I'm feeling. All right, so these are big cards. Let's see what your advice is. So we have the Nine of Earth and the Messenger of Air. So this is the Knight of Air, Knight of Swords, and the Nine of Earth. It's the Nine of Pentacles. So this is your energy. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. We have Air here with Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. So your advice is to remain stable and grounded. This is Nine of Earth. Someone's very stable, sure, grounded, abundant, can take care of themselves. They're independent. You know, standing your ground and being that stable person. But, you know, the Messenger of Air, Knight of Air, um... This is your advice. So if you may want to, I don't know, because this is an energy of kind of like rushing in, causing havoc, havoc and trouble, not meaning to, but not really thinking about what you're saying or doing, and it kind of causes a lot of commotion. So don't cause a lot of commotion when, you know, in this situation, just remain, you know, stable and grounded and secure. All right, so let's get more... Clarify. So, however, this uh, so we got the wheel of fortune. So things are moving in the right direction with the wheel of fortune. To clarify um, your advice, one more. Thank you. Wow, the ace of water. So, wow. So your advice is don't do anything harsh or rush in or any confrontations that you'll regret. Just remain in your stable energy because things are moving in the right direction. That's your advice that things will get better. Things will go in the right direction. This is, you know, fate and destiny, uh, divine wheel here, bringing in growth and abundance. Everything is as it will be. And then you have the ace of water. So this is a brand new, be like sort of that brand new beginning, the change that brings forgiveness. Ace of water is like a brand new emotional beginning of forgiveness, healing, peace, harmony, uh, loving energy. Whole new beginning now. Whole new energy that brings in harmony. So I don't know what the disconnect was or what had happened. I'm not really getting that energy. I'm just getting the energy of forgiveness and healing and change and new beginnings. Everything going in the right direction. There's harmony, domestic harmony now. Um, and a need to remain balanced and not have any sort of confrontations that you'll regret. All right, so let's see what the possible outcome will be. 
So we have temptation. So this is the devil energy. So this is can be toxic energy. Um, this is Capricorn energy. Oh, so I don't know. Let's see. Why is the devil here? Why is the devil here for the outcome? So we have the seven of air and the nine of fire. So we have the nine of wands and the seven of swords. So, you know, the seven of air can talk about deceit, uh, something that's untrustworthy, lies, and that sort of thing. And then you have the nine of fire, nine of wands, which is about <clears throat> being the wounded warrior, but you have the perseverance in the uh, determination to keep moving on, endurance and preservation, pers uh, perseverance, if I could say it right, keep moving on and fighting on. So with the devil energy here, I mean, you may fear that things may go back to the way they were with this, maybe this fire sign of, you know, maybe they had some deceiving ways or maybe they were lies or something you didn't trust. They had an uh, untrusty way about them for some reason. Temptation here. Maybe they had addictions or something like that. And I'm getting here that you may be worried that uh, they may fall. They may relapse. They may fall back. They may fall back into their old ways. But you're going to try to keep moving on and persevering through, hoping that you know, and encouraging them that they can keep fighting and moving on and that they can overcome any temptations that they may have. That makes sense. Wow. Okay. So let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. Let me see all the cards. Okay. All right. So on the bottom of the deck, we have, oops, we have love. So this is um, <clears throat> the lover's card. Love. So I definitely feel like this, there is going to be harmony now, compassion, love, peace, forgiveness. It's all here. People coming back together, reuniting, reconnecting. King of fire. So now we have the king and queen of fire. So there's that fiery, passionate uh, energy again. And then we have the Six of Water. So this is um, people from the past, Six of Cups. So this definitely could be family. So people from your past, your family, old friends, um, your childhood home, nostalgia, memories, thinking back upon you know childhood and things of that kind. King of Fire, I mean, could it be a father figure. It definitely, was, I feel, was a lot of love in the young uh, home life, family life. Wow. Okay, but I do see things changing, getting better, domestic harmony, forgiveness and healing, um, encouragement to keep, you know, if, if, if this person had addictions or something like that that they've overcome. The nine of fire is like overcoming and keep fighting on that. I think uh, they will have a lot of domestic support from, you know, family, friends to keep moving on, to keep uh, in that mindset of, you know, resisting that temptation. So let's get some extra messages for you, Virgo, here. Shuffle these. Extra messages for Virgo. Extra messages for Virgo for the end of September. And we have the world. Shetland Sheepdog. Congratulations on successfully accomplishing what you set out to do. You've made it through the challenges wow and we got cha change over here and incorporated the lessons life offered you with grace and courage so this is about closing out chapters and starting new chapters exactly here and overcoming 
challenges. So definitely someone overcoming challenges here. Closing cycles, new cycles starting here. Change. Wow. New beginnings, domestic harmony, peace, forgiveness, love, compassion, apologies. All right, anything else for Virgo? Wow, it's way too many. It's way too many. I'll take this one. So now we have the dreamer. So we go from the world to the fool. So brand new beginning, shepherd puppy. You are starting a new adventure. Run free and take a leap of faith. So now, you know, starting over, resetting at zero, leaving all the past bulls crap behind and just starting over and taking that leap definitely here and always in all these situations all right anything else for virgo i'm a bad shuffler tonight wow my cards just don't want to behave it is what it is okay so we have four of winter koala Thoroughly think things through before making a decision. Continuing to overanalyze isn't going to get you any closer to a resolution, but meditation and prayer will bring the answers you seek. So the Four of Winter, Four of Swords is all about healing, contemplating, thinking, spending time alone. So again, here with the healing energy in, in the situation here, and the thinking and the contemplating, you know, before... All this coming together with apologies and uh, forgiveness and healing. Change, all this change. So anything else for Virgo? Okay, I put that back and want to come back out. So we have the two of autumn, two of pentacles. That's your energy. Abyssinian cat, you may be under stress because of multiple jobs or too many responsibilities for one person to manage. It's important to balance your work. And personal life and bring a spirit of fun to all you do so this is just an energy of juggling many things around uh or all your or your finances or mental things or physical things so i think here there was a lot of ju mental juggling on this whole situation um in your mind about uh all this forgiveness and healing and coming back together and making changes on the bottom of the deck four of summer four of cups and that's what we started with was the four of cups and now we're ending with the four of cups tortoise your responsibilities may distract you from noticing all the gifts that god is presenting to you be open to investigating opportunities that come your way so again that energy of you know not really paying attention to offers coming in, going out, worried about that. And, uh, but lots of opportunity here. So I do see a lot of healing, change, harmony, forgiveness, peace, people coming back together, fresh starts, encouraging one another to stay strong, keep fighting on. Wow. Okay, Virgo, if this didn't resonate for you, you can check the description box below for past playlists. Maybe something there will resonate for you. I would say if a title catches your eye to watch it anyway and disregard the dates, I do consider them all timeless. And if you do like my style and how I read, please do like, share, subscribe, comment. I love to read the comments. I do bi-weekly general and love for all the signs. So that's four readings a month. So if you hit the bell, you won't miss out on that. So don't miss out on that. <laughs> And good luck to you in your situation here. Sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channel, so always, always shine your light.